Whose birthday is it? Is it yours? How old are you? Are you four? <laughs> and I know you are ready for your walk. Yes. <laughs> So, folks, we are talking about the five love languages. Today is Jinko's birthday, and we are showing him love by doing all his favorite things. Doing all your favorite things. Yes. Like going for a walk. <laughs> all right, Jinko. You ready for everybody to see you on your walk? Ooh. Yes, we got your girlfriend Mary Lou's going to be walking with you. We're going to sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. All right. So, folks, we are talking about the five love languages. And, um... There is Mary Lou. This is Hello. Jinko's girlfriend who lives across the street. <laughs> His cat sitter. Anyway, um, yeah, I tried to look at the video that I had made for last semester, and it wasn't really going to pan out that well. Are we going to walk, or are we going to stand? I see Chow's got his coat on. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> is it too cold for you, mister? Come on, let's go. This is about as warm as it's going to get. <laughs> so the five love languages. Um, there's five different ways that people show love. Um, and I want to know which one is your love language. And do you give love the way that you want to receive it? So the first love language um, is physical touch. So physical touch obviously is easy to see. Giving hugs. Um, kissing, you know, holding hands, that kind of thing. Um, and the second way that we can give love is by giving of gifts. So, you know, maybe, um, buying somebody a present, you know, maybe that's what we do for our, for someone's birthday, or maybe we like to receive gifts. Another type of gift that we can do, which is our third way, which is gifts of service or acts of service. That means, doing something for somebody else so for example that would be um washing somebody's car or doing laundry or making someone's life easier that's giving a gift of service Look, mary lou's out here. Come here are we going into mary lou's house <laughs> Jinko, it's nice out it's no outside. we're not going to go into mary lou's house Jinko, mommy's doing work <laughs> that's right i'm doing work here, <laughs> Our third one is yes. Let's go out this way. He's gonna turn right back around. Know, He's right stubborn. <laughs> go over there and go potty. Our third one that we do, um, uh, the way that we show love, or we talked about that was gifts of service. Our fourth one is spending time with somebody, and our fifth one is um, words of affirmation. So words of affirmation would be telling somebody that we love them or also writing thank you letters. So Mary Lou, yeah. after hearing those five love languages, which one is your favorite? Which one is the way that you like to receive love? I think words of affirmation. You like you like someone to tell you how beautiful you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> and how much they appreciate you. Yeah. But sometimes you know you you don't you wish you would get people to say that, but they don't say that. Yeah. Even though they might be thinking they're doing yeah. that. So. Do you like getting letters, like in the mail, or thank you letters? Is that words of affirmation? Nice, or even thank you emails or text. And okay. Now, too, it's really yeah. good. But just, you know, something that says you're appreciated. Yeah. It's now, how do love. how do you like to give love? Um, she gives Jinko and me love all the time. Let me count the ways. Helping my friends, um, helping my family. Okay, so that's something. acts of service. Exactly, doing something for others. That, that's how I express, you know, giving love to people. Okay, all right. So do you ever give words of affirmation because that's what you like? Um, <clears throat> yes, it is. Um, I, I give the words of affirmation when I think somebody needs it. Okay. Probably. That's you know, a good way. Having a bad day, 
you know, and you're going to get, well, hey, everything's going good. You did great on that assignment, or you did great on that work project. Okay. That just makes it feel a little bit better. It makes me feel a little bit better, too. All right. Well, thank you. Folks, I use, my favorite used to be physical touch. Like, I had to hold hands, doing that uh, PDA, public display of affection. Um, but the way that I like to receive gifts is I want someone to do something for me, make my life easier. Okay. And you know what? I realized, um, that I, um, my best friend now, Mary Lou is a Scorpio. I, Jinko is a Scorpio. My best friend's a Scorpio. I have tons of Scorpios in my life. But, um, anyway, come on this way. Come on this way. Um, Anyway, she likes to for people to do things for her, make her life easier. And I said, you know what? I like that too. That's how I like to be um, be treated. So I started thinking. I was like, well, that's a little bit messed up. So if I'm focusing on, you know, I want to uh, show my love for somebody by maybe buying them a gift. That was my old way. Um, or, you know, I wanted to receive love by um, public displays of affection, right? And so I started thinking, I said, you know, I need to make sure that this is a little bit similar in nature. Because the way that I give love was different than the way that I wanted to receive love. So let's just think about that for a little bit. So if my friend likes to receive gifts of acts of service, then why am I going to go and buy something for her? Why don't I go and do something for her to make her life easier? Let's go, Bubba. So this past summer, I went down to her house, and she wanted a room painted. Let's go. <laughs> it's more of a meander, isn't it? It's more of a meander. <laughs> oh, where are we going now? <laughs> Never know. Never know. So she likes to receive... Uh, gifts of, or acts of service that makes her happier that shows her that she is being loved because it took somebody time to do something for her that made her life easier and I used to buy her presents I used to buy anybody presents that was how I showed love and I said you know I really like that idea of somebody doing something for me because it makes my life easier and it takes time and think about it. What if they also spent money that they had to to buy whatever it was in order to do X, Y, and Z? Like maybe they washed your car. That took money to have it washed and it took the time for them to do it. That's something physical. Even though they didn't physically touch you, maybe they get a hug afterwards. And it also takes time. And it is... Um, uh, to me, I think doing an acts of service shows all of the five love languages. And so that's why I feel like that is my favorite way to do that now. Is when I want to do something for somebody, to thank them, um, you know, I focus on giving them um, something that takes time for me to do. Now, something that I struggle with is words of affirmation. Now, I usually... Uh, will tell someone thank you for something that they've done always but I'm not really good at writing thank you letters and I know that it's kind of a lost art to do that um, but you know if you have somebody that sends you a thank you letter for something that you did for them the next time they do something for you you might want to send them a thank you letter because that's how they are showing love and you showing them love back in the way that they show you love actually will make that experience of exchange of energy a little bit, um, have a little bit more harmony to it. So think about that for this assignment. How do you show love? And how do you want to receive love? And is it um, the same way? Um, you know, I don't really want somebody to buy me something. It's... I can buy my own things. I need somebody to do something for me. Wash my car. Um, go to the store. <laughs> cook me a meal. Do something like that. Um, my grandmother, she loved for me to spend time with her. In fact, um, my senior year, let's go, Jinx. My senior year, I had too many credit hours because we had gone on the block schedule when I became uh, in, when I was in the ninth grade. So I had too many credits. Now I could have used my um, some of my hours 
um, to take time off during school, which is what I did, or I could take a calculus class. And considering I went on there in there the first day and that lady was writing so fast, the chalkboard was on fire, I decided that I was going to take that time off and spend it with my grandmother and go eat lunch with her every day. And so that's what I did. And she loved it because she got to spend time with me. And she also got to um, get me to do something for her. So she got to experience love because not only was I spending time with her, but I was doing some type of chore for her, which was making her life easier. And that's how she showed or that's how she wanted to receive love. Now, my grandmother's way of giving love was, let me make you something to eat. Well, you know, Chrissy didn't know how to control the fork when she was younger. And so uh, I got too much of my grandmother's love, <laughs> which got a little little bit around the belly and caused me to be an overweight child because I didn't know how to receive it in a um, not so... I'm going to do this in a gourmandized way. <laughs> Come on, Jinx, let's go. You don't need you don't need the acorns. So think about that with some people in your life, like you know, grandparents or your parents or maybe a sibling. How do they show love? Ooh, that's the Scorpio. <laughs> that's how he shows love. Yes, I right knew there. that he was going to do this eventually today. <laughs> Are you going to tell everybody that it's your birthday? No. <laughs> you can't be grumpy on your birthday. <laughs> All right. So, a way that Miss Smith showed love was physical display of affection. Um, but Or buying somebody something. So, now I like to do things for people because I feel like that's meaningful and that's a memory that they have, especially if you go and do um, something together as a family. You have the memory. You got to maybe uh, hear a thank you, which is words of affirmation. You got to um, maybe if they bought you something, the experience was, was paid for, like maybe you went out of town with these people. Are you having fun in the leaves? So cute. Um, and then you got a hug while you were there. That's physical display of affection. Um, and then maybe, you know, you hear them thanking you for all these things when you have an experience like that. So think about the five love languages. Which one is yours? So we got number one, physical touch. We have number two, buying somebody something. We have number three, which is words of affirmation. We have number four, which is acts of service. And we have number five, which is spending time with someone. So, which one is yours? And also, um, how do you receive love? How do you give love and how do you receive love based on those five? We're going to finish <laughs> hanging out with Jinko for his birthday. Say thank you, Mary Lou, Bye. for... Um, participating in the <laughs> he doesn't like leaves thrown on him for participating in the video we'll talk with you later thanks folks